because we believe that we cannot know anything about Jesus except we read it in his word. And when we read it in his word, if we love him, we want to find out more about him. So Lord, do a work of grace in hearts this morning in Jesus' name. Let's stand, please. Our heads are bowed. Our eyes are closed. All right, those two of you that said, I prayed that prayer. Will you come right now as we sing softly and tenderly, Jesus is calling. God bless you, sir. That's right. Soft. Amen. Someone else. chorus again. If you're standing by a friend or loved one this morning who's not saved, why don't you just kindly and tenderly say, hey, I'll be glad to go with you if you'd like to go. Maybe one word would make the difference between heaven and hell. I was preaching in Australia and on the last night of the meeting, I'd preached on the unpardonable sin. And one of the men on the staff at the invitation turned around to his mother and he said, Mother, if you'll, if you'll let me go with you, we'll show you how to be saved tonight. And you know what his mother said? Honey, I've been waiting for you to ask me. So if you're standing by a friend or loved one tonight who's not saved, why don't you just say, I'll go with you if you'd like to go. Just as they play that chorus one more time. Would you come just swallow your pride the pastor's going to come right now and close he sees fit let me mention this uh, we're not preaching extended meetings for the first time in this year. We're preaching on Sundays and several Wednesdays. I think I've got 42 Sundays scheduled. So we're not carrying any CDs with us. But I do have a flash drive with 33 of the most requested messages that I preach and they would be available if you'd be interested. I'll be at the table if I can be a help. Pastor, thank you so much for the invitation to be here. Would you please be seated? Our morning has gone quickly. The invitation is enclosed. You can see who's been up here on the platform, our pastoral staff. If you're still not sure that you're a Christian, if you've never come to Christ, would you come to us? And let us help you know his free gift of salvation to you. The proof that Jesus lives. This is Palm Sunday. The proof that he lives is first the truth in God's word. But then he was seen of many after his resurrection. Here's another truth. You're going to meet him too. So will I. And I'll meet him either because I received him or I'll meet him because I resisted him. I'm grateful for his mercy in my life. I'm going to meet him as Savior. You can too. And so don't, don't leave without coming to Christ. Yeah, or reach out to someone you know is saved, but 
give your heart uh, to the Lord today. We thank God for how he has worked. As we close, and we are not going to take uh, a lot more of your time, just a few reminders, but I want to close by again just thanking the Lord for that group who trusted the Lord 50 years ago, gathered, believing his will, and starting Good News Baptist Church. Dallas and Pam Ainsley, Bill and Maddie Ainsley, Harvey and Eloise Bryant, Alan and Ella Lee Forbes, Wayne and Patsy Hall, Gordon and Betty Harper, Dennis Larravee, Lois Miller, Gene Roberts, Mary Warrington, Jerry and Libby Yarborough, James, Mary, and Terry Ward. Most of them are with the Lord now. They've gone to their reward, but here we are. Good News Baptist Church, we want to challenge you. The future is very bright because of the power of God and the promises of God. So let's be faithful. Let's be found faithful. Knowing that that trumpet is going to, found, be, going to sound very soon. And we will forever be with the Lord. I want to say special thanks to the 50th Anniversary Committee, all your hard work this weekend. Mike and Marty Rock, Linda and Reggie Wald, Dwight and Norma Dunn, Tommy and Mary Warrington, Pastor and Mrs. Coles, Winston and Rosetta Lowry, Bob and Bernie Turner, Mark and Patty Taylor. As we're dismissed, let me remind you, please, go by Dr. Comfort's table. And uh, would you look at the uh, materials that are there and uh, buy those up. It'll, it'll encourage your heart. It'll challenge your heart. The staff are going to come with a few closing reminders. It's been a special service, but it wouldn't be a, regular, it wouldn't be a church service without announcements, right? <laughs> I will be brief, but did want to encourage you to take a look at your bulletin. Notice the things that are coming up there. I will mention specifically there's a, a game, a baseball game this weekend. Uh, Noah Weaver will be playing. There's details about if you'd like to be a part of that, like to be there for that game. I do want to encourage all of you to stop by and see the bookstore. It's been newly renovated and excited about the work that's gone into that, all the, thi- all the items that are available there, including some that are specifically commemorating our 50th anniversary. So we want to encourage those of you guests, if you'd like something to commemorate this, those things are available at the bookstore right down the hallway here. Uh, Also, if you didn't get a booklet last evening, the 50th anniversary booklet, uh, the ushers will be at the doors in the back as you head out. Uh, We're requesting one per family just to make sure that everyone can get one, Uh, but you can pick one of those up if you didn't receive one of those already. There will be no evening service tonight. Uh, to allow for fellowship. We don't want to encourage you to spend time with each other, spend time with the guests who are visiting with us from out of town, and enjoy that time of fellowship and remembering what, what God has done in our lives together. Uh, deacons, there's a deacons meeting this Tuesday evening at 6 o'clock. And so remember that, not 7, but 6 o'clock on Tuesday evening. We're grateful for the Henrys and all the work that they've put into this with the tent out in the back. And uh, very grateful for their ministry to us. Men and boys, if you're able to help following this service with getting that torn down, that's going to happen this afternoon. It was originally going to be tomorrow morning, but it's going to be this afternoon. And so if you're able to help with that, please uh, please see Alan Barry about how you can be a help there. Uh, we are going to be closed in prayer this morning by Mark Taylor. And I, um, I want to say that I'm very grateful for this man. Uh, He has been on staff longer than anyone else who's been on staff here, certainly. Uh, He's been a part of this church under the ministry of all four pastors who have been here. He's continued faithfully all through that time. Uh, Been on staff here since 1987. And uh, as someone who is a part of his youth group, went on a mission trip with him, I'm grateful for the way he ministered to me in that time. I'm grateful to serve alongside him now. And for the fact that he's been an encouragement to me, 
I'm grateful for his friendship. And I'm grateful that uh, he is truly a man of God. He is the type of believer who has kept good news strong and faithful all of these years. And so he's going to come and close us in prayer. Let's pray. To God be the glory. Great things you have done. And God, we want to give you all the praise and honor. Lift up your name. God, you're worthy of our praise. And God, everything that's been done in and through this local church that you've established, you've done it. And we give you all the praise. Thank you for allowing us to serve here. Thank you for saving those two people this morning. Thank you that there's still power in the gospel. As we get ready to celebrate your resurrection, thank you because Jesus lives, we can live also. God, continue to use this local church to impact people for Christ. Lord, you tell us to pray the Lord of the harvest, that he send forth laborers into his harvest. God, would you raise up pastors, missionaries, evangelists. Uh, God, use us here to bear much fruit for your namesake. Thank you again for Brother Comfort. Thank you for Pastor Asher. God, thank you for using us. God, we just want to be used. Help us not to be ashamed of the gospel. But even this week, Lord, may we be very sensitive to your Holy Spirit leading. And uh, God, give us your boldness to give your gospel. And we'll thank you for all that you do. In Jesus' precious name we pray. Amen. some great news. Calvin Riggins grew up in this church. Most know him. Today he got it settled. He got saved. Amen. Amen. And I think it's very important that he lets this church know because he's kind of scared of you. Because you all know him. But now he knows him. And he wants you to know that. And I told him, I said, nobody's going to judge you here. All we're going to do is rejoice with you. So I'm sorry for the abrupt interruption, but I just thought it was very important that Calvin knew we loved him and that we're behind him. Thank you. to go to once I got saved at vacation Bible school that's Alexander Baptist Church and like I mentioned before Mrs. Annette William which is now Mrs. Annette, Mrs. Annette Graff she come knocking on the doors and ask if we wanted to go to church so hold on I gotta ask my dad Marcel my dad said it's okay if your sisters go and she said, I said, yeah, I can go. So my sister can go. And she said, sure, more to marry her. Just be very ready for coming Sunday in the morning. My name is Annette, woman, Mrs. Annette Williams. But now it's Mrs. Annette Graff. She married Bill Graff. Her other husband got promoted to heaven. But, um... They have three boys. Um, uh, 
Samuel Graham, Joshua Graham, and Stephen Graham. Now everybody from our family are in the book of life. I pray that whenever you will, if you're not saved, you'll get saved. Why did this thing turn? It's stuck for some reason. Oh, there we go. My dad Marcel got to go to heaven too. He got saved under past through Mike Palmer's message, Words to Be. And Mr. Tulip prayed that Marcel would come start coming to church. He went up in the teen room um, in the middle of the first row of the chairs. And I closed my eyes as Mark Taylor, youth director, prayed for Marcel to get saved. And, and next you know, I lay a flyer down, not paying attention to it. Next you know, my dad saying we're going to church. And I looked at it and said, Mac Palmer's message, where is the beef? And I thank Jesus for using that. And I think it my dad's attention. Because he's a chef in the Navy and a chef in restaurants. And Mac Palmer, after Sharon Stacy got saved, my mom was saved. And I was already saved through vacation Bible school. I was in the Baptist church, and then we all got baptized. Mac Palmer baptized us. Because you get saved first, and then you follow the believer in baptism. Baptism. And my dad helped Mac Wood Palmer when he, because he was the last to be baptized. My dad dumped under and back up because my dad's a, a big tall man so anyway and that day it was cold water my mom came on the bus Flo did the children's song Bob Scoop, go did, let's go in a bigger lot. And Eric Quimmer's dad did the bus driver, and Rusty Dillard in the magical treasure chest. And I did magic trips on the bus. Flo mentions that a lot. That oh, this is Bill, he did magic trips on the bus. That's good, she, she's got a good memory. <laughs> 